they're being unjustly labelled as far right as um, fascists marching around the streets of Dublin. When look, we're talking about mothers with their children here. These aren't ideologues. These aren't people walking around with a uh, mine camp under their arm hoping for the best. These are just concerned men and women like you or I. Well, we're more concerned of the fact that we don't know who these people are. They're being put in. Nobody was told about them. We're concerned for the kids, for women going out to work, coming home from work. They're heckling at people on buses. They're throwing stones at boys going past. It's, you know, it's obviously concerning for all of us. We are let down. We're very much so let down. And that's why we're here. We're standing for the people. We're standing for the children. Also, we don't know who these immigrants are. As they thought. And it could be anything. It could be anybody. Like, I mean, this time last year, you need a passport with the cafe or a pub. These don't even need a passport to get into Ireland. These are just concerned men and women like you or I. They could be your neighbours, they could be your relations, they could be your workmates, your colleagues. And these are normal people. I mean, the mainstream media would want to really open their eyes and cop on to what's occurring here. Because the longer that they do, the longer that they are in transigence and their hope that love will let them go away, the more of a damage that's going to cause to Irish society and the cohesion of such.